Now I'm going to go over how you can adjust some of the sound settings um, for your speakers in the different rooms that you have through the new Sonos app here. How you can adjust the EQ level and other things like that. First thing you want to do is open up the Sonos app and then go to the settings tab in the bottom right. You want to tap on system. And then from here you can see we have our rooms and you want to go ahead and select the room where you want to adjust the speakers. So let's do the family room. The family room has a sound bar, a left and a right rear speaker, and a sub. If we click on that, you can see we get the individual products here. If I tap on play bar, you can go ahead and adjust some of the Wi-Fi settings or remove the sub or remove the surrounds. But if we go down to the sound tab here, we get a couple different options. So there's the EQ settings, which we can go ahead and adjust the bass and the treble and the loudness. So you can go ahead and adjust that. You can hit the reset button to make it whatever you want. Then you have the surround settings. So we have the surrounds on. You can do the TV level. You can make those surround speakers a little bit louder um, than they might normally be, which you can see there. So that's when it's playing sound from the TV, you're watching a movie or something like that. But if you're just playing music on your speakers, you can adjust it so that those rear speakers are also louder if you want to. The other options you have here are music playback. So I have it selected to full, but as you can see it says during music playback, their surround speakers um, su supplement with subtle ambient sound or louder, fuller range sound. So if you want it louder, if you want to hear more out of those rear speakers, you can go ahead and select full. If you want them to be quieter than the main sound bar, the play bar, or the arc, whichever one you might have, then you'll want ambient. But if you want full music basically coming out of all of the speakers in the surround system, when you're just playing music through, whether you're casting it from another app or you're playing it through here, then you can go ahead and select full. You can also see balance surround speakers. So it can go ahead and gives you information about kind of where you want to put those. Go back. And then there's a reset button at the bottom that'll reset all of these back to normal. And if I head back here, I can also go ahead and select sub audio. And from here I can turn the sub on or off. I can adjust the sub level if I want to, kind of how loud it is. You can also do phase controls if you need to. You can recalibrate it if you need to, that's up to you. This will kind of recalibrate it to the room. You can also reset those settings if you want to. So you can kind of go adjust if the sub is too loud, you can go ahead and lower the sub level. If you think it's not loud enough, not giving you enough bass or whatever, you can go ahead and turn it up. It's up to you. So that's kind of how if you have a surround system or EQ, but again, if you have a room that just has, you know, a normal left and right speaker like the kitchen does, you can go ahead and select EQ and adjust the bass, the treble, or since it has it's set up as a stereo pair, you can adjust the balance between how loud the left is and how loud the right speaker is. Um, so you can adjust all of that for those if you want to. There's also a volume limit that you can go ahead and sit, set so that the maximum volume won't get louder than you know whatever percent you percent you select. So that's how you can go and adjust some of the sound settings for the different rooms you might have set up in your Sono system. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can get notified about other helpful tech videos I post to the channel. Thanks for watching.